This is part two of a tutorial showing Watcher with some drum templates driving Beatmaker 3 and then mixing an ALM. In this tutorial we add some instruments from both Thumb Jam and Beatmaker. So this is where we left off. Okay, we have Beatmaker and we have two sets. Okay, there we go. So we're going to come out of that back to Watcher. If I tap and hold, you remember that we can basically move to a cell with nothing in it. So that's how we kind of stop those playing. Now, I want to add three different um, tracks of instruments. And one of the things I'm going to do before I do that is sometimes MIDI notes don't stop. So I'm going to show you a quick way to have a solution for that. So if we go into others or basically simple load it. And what we're going to do is go into here. We will edit it. First thing we'll do is we'll mute it and then we're going to go to volume and we will turn this volume to minimum. Okay. Now, because I'm going to have three tracks, what I'm going to do is copy that. So we go copy and then paste it three times like so. And this technique only works when you have the element going to the channel you want. So in this one, I want it to go to six, seven, and this one's going to go to five. Okay, so we're done there. Now, I'm now going to add Thumb Jam, two instances to home, and I'm going to have slot one, and I'm going to add slot two, because I'm going to use it as a multi-instrument. Oops, sorry. And there we go, let's add slot two, okay. Now, I'm also going to, while we're here, pop these right through to the output bus, just so it's easier to mix things down. And I'm also going to move them next to Beatmaker, so we keep everything on screen clearly. Okay, fine. So, if we go into Thumb Jam, now, uh, the first thing we notice is it's set up for a trumpet. Okay, so I want to create a multi-instrument where trumpet for instrument slot one, I want to add strings for, here we go, string ensemble for slot two. And if I show that as a split display, that will play, and I can see that we, we can get both at the same time. Now the key thing to note, for, to get this to work, is if we go into prefs and MIDI control, if we scroll down, we'll notice Watcher Omni is on. What we need to do is to go to input options, input channel Omni, and turn that to number six. The reason being, that this treats a MIDI channel six from Watcher to play the first instrument slot and the sec and MIDI channel seven to play the second. So we've done that. We've also, I've added some uh, effects in here, some delay and reverb, so we've done that uh, there. So if we now come back out of Thumb Jam and we go into Watcher, if we add to this cell here a player and it's going to be filter swirl, say. And I'll just stop that. Now, if I put that through to MIDI channel 6, then if we tap and hold this, because they're all playing simple at the moment, what we should do is hear a trumpet. Okay, I'm going to tap and hold this one again, so as we don't play that. To this cell, I'm going to add a backing, uh, strings. I'm going to load that. And in this one, I've got to make sure these all go to channel 7. Just drag and drop like this. And then we tap and hold that. And then that should play strings. Okay, so if we tap and hold this, we hear the strings and the trumpet at the same time. Go back to the mixer. This is That's the trumpet. That's the strings. They're all independently controlled. Okay, very nice. Okay, I'm going to go back to Watcher. I'm going to tap and hold these to turn them both off for a second. And I'm going to demonstrate another technique, which is how to thin something out as you're playing. So if we go to the Ambient Strings uh, Track 4, Cell 1 template, and we're going to copy that and paste it twice, like so. Turn off the sticky, remember to do that. In the second cell, I want the voice that's playing to be kind of a higher pitch so we can hear it's different. And then in the third cell, I'm going to delete a couple of the voices to thin it out. 
a tiny bit so that when we play it so if we play the first one here tap and hold you can hear that and if we tap and hold the second one it's higher and if we tap and hold the third one we just have when that plays two voices playing I'm actually going to go to the third one I'm just going to take the pitch down a tiny bit okay fine so let's turn that one off as well now effectively turning it off by um, popping it through to there now the next thing I'm going to do is add a beat maker instrument so we're not using the drums and it all comes through on one audio channel so because we're not using the drums we can load up another bank so I'm going to go create new bank and in this bank I'm going to load up a preset and I'm going to load in TPKZ piano. This is actually quite quiet. So I'm going to go into the effects. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom, add an effect, a dynamics processor. I'll scroll back down again to get to it. And I'm going to change the makeup gain to about eight. So it's a bit louder. Okay. So now I need to set up the MIDI assignment for this. So if we go into options, uh, sorry, the menu at the top and then the cog or settings button. If we go into audio MIDI devices, we're going to go down here and we're looking for MIDI track five because we know, sorry, uh, watch a track five because we've got this new voice we're adding to track five. That's okay. That's done. Now, if we come to the pianos thing here, we're going to set the MIDI channel for this. So the port, we're going to set the port to track five, which is, uh, where did we go? I missed it. Track five here. And I think we're going to set this to channel of track five here. Okay, if we play that now. Now, if we go back into Watcher, we're going to do two things here. First of all, we're going to add a player and I'm going to add the piano counterpoint. And then I'm going to set this to track five. So this is now playing that uh, generator through track five. I'm also going to show something else, which is I'm going to merge another template into that cell. So I'm going to go into uh, Gen Melodics, uh, Ford's, and I'm going to merge it in. So basically it's added it to the cell. I'm going to move both of those to there. So we've now got some more uh, generators going on in there. So if we now turn that, tap to turn that on, tap to turn that on. That's very nice. So I'm going to add a bus send to the reverb for this one add a bus send to the reverb for this one and what we have is a bring that up and if we go into beat maker we could go into effects for example and we could uh, change the filter on the piano And there we go. That's effectively our mix. So thank you very much for listening. I can mix it all down here and we'll fade out. And hope you've enjoyed that.